Okay, so we all know how much I love these self-watering seed trays, but what if we made some by ourselves out of stuff we had I don't know, laying around the house, like takeout containers, toilet paper rolls, and something to wick the water up so that it actually self-waters itself. I heard that cotton's good material. All we're gonna need for this build is a container of some sort, whether it's Tupperware or old takeout containers. The rectangle one might work better, or these things from Dollarama, they're super cheap. You can expand on this however you want. You're also gonna need toilet paper rolls, sharp scissors, good utility knife, a one and three quarter inch hole saw if you have it, and a shirt. Okay, so I've done a few videos now where I've actually planted in these and grown seedlings and had very good success with the self-wicking, self-watering system in this. And let's look at the components of this to see how we're gonna create one out of our own DIY stuff. First off, you have the clear dome, which conveniently, most takeout containers come with. There's also a planting tray involved in these, which has holes in the bottom, which allows the soil to contact the wicking mat or the capillary mat, and that sits on any sort of a base. So this base has slits cut in it, that way that you can get that wicking cloth or the capillary cloth through there into the reservoir, which is full of water. It also has a gauge. I don't know what I'm gonna use for a gauge yet, but I think I got a good idea on what I'm gonna do with everything else. So this is how it'll look when you've planted it and you're waiting for your seedlings to start germinating. How are we gonna imitate this with stuff we have around the house? This is my theory. For the actual planting tray where we're gonna plant in, we're gonna use toilet paper rolls and I'm sure everybody comes across these very easy. And if not, I'm sure you can find somebody that has some spare empty ones of these. The idea of these is single use because basically once we're done germinating these and we have a nice seedling in the spring, we can just pop this out and plant it right into the garden and this cardboard will just decompose. And then another takeout container just like this with the lid on is going to be our water reservoir and the base that that seeding tray sits on. So what I'm planning on doing anyways is to have it sit like this. Now we need some sort of a capillary fabric or a wicking cloth to wick the water from beneath in here up into the bottom of the toilet paper rolls which will then water those plants. These undershirts and I'm sure a lot of the shirts that you own that you don't wear anymore are 100% cotton and actually wick water really well. So this is what we're going to use. These are the materials. Toilet paper rolls, takeout containers, and a shirt. When it comes to the construction of this project, it's relatively simple. You're gonna grab all three of your containers, you're gonna put a lid on one, this is going to be your water reservoir. After that, you're gonna take the two remaining containers, you're gonna take one of those containers and cut about an inch out of it the reason why we do that is to put one container inside of the other one to form a planting tray and give some stability to the toilet paper rolls that you're going to be cutting holes for. After you've got that completed and it fits nicely inside, you're then going to want to cut your holes for the toilet paper rolls. Now the reason why I said a hole saw is because an inch and three quarters cuts a perfect hole for a toilet paper roll to fit through. And if you put steady downward pressure like I do here with a piece of wood below it, you can actually drill both holes at once and save time trying to line it up by cutting it individually. It can be done, it just might be a pain. At this point, you're then going to put your toilet paper rolls through the holes and measure them to see what height you need to be for the lid to still fit on top of that container. Once this is complete, you cut your toilet paper rolls to size. You then insert your toilet paper rolls so that they're sitting in place. Looking back, I might have been better to use some rectangular pieces because I might be able to fit a couple more toilet paper rolls in here and just have a neater setup. But this is just a test subject. This is what I'm creating off the top of my head. After this is completed, you're going to take your water reservoir, you're going to take the lid off of it, and you're going to cut a couple holes in it. One is going to be the access to fill this reservoir full of water. So you're going to cut a hole about two to three inches long and maybe half an inch into the lid to make sure that you can actually pour water into here to keep this reservoir filled. The next step is to cut two two to three inch slits on either side of the lid. You're going to cut these about a half inch into the lid itself. This is to allow the wicking pad to dangle into the water reservoir. Once this is complete, you're then going to create your wicking pad. 
To make this wicking pad, I used an old cotton shirt that I had because it was available. There are a lot of materials that wick water well. Cotton may not be the best material, but it's what I had available, so feel free to research what you want to use. To do this, I just traced out the lid, I cut around the circle, leaving space for the slits, and created wings on either side of the circle to fall down through those slits and dangle into the water. Now that you've completed the construction of your water wicking seed tray, it's time to plant it. What you're going to do is pack the toilet paper rolls full of soil very compact so that the soil comes right to the bottom of this. You want this to make contact with the capillary mat so that it wicks water properly. You're then going to pick whatever seeds you want. I chose kale. You're going to throw them in the top. You're going to cover them up with some soil and you're going to give it a bit of water from the top down for the one and only time. To prime the wicking system, you're going to fully saturate whatever wicking pad you created and fill the reservoir. After this, you're going to place your lid on, find a nice sunny window or put it under your grow light and wait for the growing to happen. Leave a like if you find this useful or interesting, comment any ideas that you have for design changes or upgrades, and make sure to subscribe to my channel to follow along as I make other interesting builds centered around growing in the garden or in the lawn. Comments, likes, and shares will really help tell YouTube that this content should be shown to other viewers. As always, you can find the most recent video on the top left, a related video on the bottom left, and the subscribe button on the right hand side. I will see you in the next video.